Oh man, you smell it? it? Smells like football out here. You can see the sun glistening off the palm trees. The birds chirping. Hall of Famers everywhere. You can smell the little yellow jackets. This might be, this might be the greatest practice ever. University of Miami. The U. Bring it in tight. Welcome to South Florida, the bottom of the clip of the gunshine state. Ha. What them boys still boring in that way? Big plate, get it for the 18 if you straight get cake. And stop hating, it's the model of the state. Ha. A lot of face, but it's still real around here. That foreign talk, that can get you. And we got Najee Davenport, um, great Najee Davenport from the University of Miami, played with. Oh my God! Play with Ezra and James, uh, James Stewart. I mean, Najee Davenport uh, and his son Bryn Davenport, who is said to be leading the charge of the class of 2038. That whenever Bryn is supposed to be hitting to the University of Miami, um, Bryn is a, 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 a one of the top nine-year-olds in the nation. Uh, period. I've been saying this since he was seven. Um, and one thing Bryn has that Najee doesn't have is looks. I mean, Najee's a big, ugly, like he came out of cave, and Bryn's a nice looking guy. He has long, long hair, long wavy mixed hair. I mean, he's, he's gonna get the model thing going on. So he got, he got that beat in the looks department, you know what I'm saying? But listen, Najee and Bryn, they're two good friends of mine. Uh, we're gonna get, we've seen Bryn on Caneville more, and you'll see a lot more out of Bryn. Bryn Davenport, Najee Davenport, great side out again. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? Who be braiding up your hair, dog? Huh? Yeah? You take a long time? What's up, bro? They got you out here, fool? This shit might be different, man. How they got you out here, fool? I don't know. I just came, they, man. Yeah? Show up. Man. Nah, it's a different vibe, man. This is definitely a different this, vibe. Bro, this is my first time ever out here. Since when? Okay, this is my first time ever. Hey, we're gonna go over here, man. Come right. on, Coach. Good morning. How are you? Chill, chill, chill. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. I got the song. All right. This is your first time since? Out of, he come to Miramar. Uh -huh. Corey Atkins, Jr., yeah. you know, you related to uh, right, right, right. Atkins. You got to keep him locked in now, man. Najee, I don't even got to drop bags or drop cookies. I don't know what you got to do. Najee's dapping up the great Ed Reed. Um, listen, bro, it's a great place to be out here. We're going to talk about the greatest. The ground like the greatest practice ever. You <laughs> talk about the greatest practice ever. You, you show me a practice like You show me a practice like this. You got future Kings dapping up young Kings. Um... Legendary Future Kings. Then we got another legendary Hall of Famer walking here, Edgerin James. So we want to talk about the greatest practice. This is the greatest practice ever. You see the sun coming out to the left, glistening off the palm trees. You got the birds chirping. And you, you always got to have Susan walking by. But at the greatest practice ever, you can't have a greatest practice ever without Hall of Famers showing up at your practice. So if we want to talk about greatest practice ever, greatest practice ever is right here. What's going on? Nah, nah, we got another legend just walk. <laughs> yeah, man, so we got in front of our face, we got Edrin James. We got Najee Davenport. Ed Reed, right here. It's about like five or six of them that like that bleed that orange and green, so they were talking that old 20, 30 to the U. Yeah. Uh, Can Man, Corey Atkins, uh, and a kid named Damar, I think he was going to come. It's like four or five when they, like, they created the group chat on Instagram. <laughs> oh, they, 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 yeah. they all in. They all in, They all in, right? I was like, okay. And, and Brandon's is what grade? So how long are we talking about? Four. He's in the fourth grade yeah, right now. So yeah, just be now. chill, man. Yeah. Chill, man. Eat, eat right. We're going to make it into the 2030. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And 2030 going to roll around, man. Um, <clears throat> former teammates just walked in here, man. Adrian. Yeah, EJ. EJ just yeah. walked in here, man. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been coming out of University of Miami practice for a long time. You say this is your first time back. I've never seen I've never seen the atmosphere and people welcome being back like this. Um, I have not. Um, Brian, going to University of Miami, is that natural for you? Like, it's natural to see him. Yeah, you know, I don't force it on him. Right. I definitely don't force it on him. I think it's uh, it's one of them things that he kind of, he see the relationships. Yeah. And then, anyway, granted, he know, you know, he called Eddie and, and he, you know, Uncle, Uncle Eddie, Uncle, you know, yeah. 
So uh, that's, it's just that's one of the things he's been around, right? You know it's one of the things he's been around. Good, great, good job, Najee. Great job, <laughs> great job. <laughs> Shout out to Najee Davenport, man. Go and enjoy your day, big dog. Good luck, good luck. Ready? Oh, here we go, man. We uh today we're gonna check out the linebackers. Um, the linebackers has been a group that uh has been a group that um that would have a lot to be left a lot to be desired. But for many reasons, um, for all the last year we asked, we asked who was the linebacker coach, and we asked and we asked and we asked, and never got a never got an answer. I um, there was a lot of confusion going on with the group um in the past. But we got a new regime here, man. They're being led by Charlie Strong, former Louisville head coach, former Texas head coach. Um, I don't know. He coached the Avengers. Uh, he trained Superman. I mean, Charlie Strong been doing been doing this thing for the for the longest. The starters that we see is four. Number four, number twelve, Steve. Number four, number twelve, Steve has been running with the first team um, as of linebackers. I guess Keontra out of Shaman Steed out of Miami Century. Steed has been here for a while, while. <laughs> um, Wayman Steed is a six year, he's one of those kids, man, that has got all out of college football that you could possibly get. He's a six year, six year senior. In front of us, we got Ed Argeron and Charlie Strong dapping it up uh, at practice today. Um, Ed Argeron, former LSU national champ, right? I'm Ed Orgeron, national champ Ed Orgeron with Chase um, and those guys uh, out here with Charlie Strong. I think he's out here, probably down here for the clinic, for the coaches clinic. Man, big names, big names here at the University of Miami. Big names, huge names out here at the University of Miami um, walking around. Um, trying to be a star studded place, but Miami's supposed to be. Miami's supposed to be the place where the stars come out. It's supposed to be an event. Uh, let's get back to these linebackers. Next on the linebacker list, man, everybody's had questions about is Avery Huff, 6'3, 205 out of St. Thomas. Avery has been here for a while now. Uh, Avery's a, a four year sophomore. A four year sophomore. These numbers are wild. He's a four year sophomore. Uh, that got on the field last year, got a lot of energy, always fired up, um, <clears throat> but seemed to sometimes not necessarily be a step behind in the plays. And sometimes that's just understanding what's going on. Um, so yeah, Avery Avery Huff is another one that a lot of us are a lot of us are waiting on. Number thirty-one, Wesley Bassaint, the freshman um, out of Miami Central. Wesley's one of the. <laughs> As Coach Roland Smith runs up and says, let's go, Wesley, let's go. Wesley was his child. Wesley was his kid at Miami Central. But Wesley is putting on a lot of weight. He's looking thicker. Um, Wesley seemed to, we've hearing that Wesley's working really hard and gaining a lot of ground on these guys. Um, in front of Wesley is number 11, which some believe last year was our number one linebacker, Corey Flagg. Corey, Corey Flagg. Uh, Corey Flag last year had a, had a decent year last year. I think he led the, I think he led the linebackers and tackles last year. Um, as you see him right there behind Steve, number 11, Corey Flag. But the two, the, we haven't seen him running with the wands yet. Um, we'll take a look at it today uh, and get a little bit of information out to y'all. But yeah, Corey Flag. Corey Flag is an interesting one. Like I said, because in the past he was one of our leaders. He was one of the leaders. Um, so that's Keontra, Steve, and Corey, who we led to be the believers, who we believe to be leading for starters coming into camp. And then you got number 18, Tyreek Austin Cave. Uh, number 18, Tyreek Austin Cave. Let's see if we can locate Tyreek Austin Cave right here. And number 18, Tyreek Austin Cave. Out of up, I think up north, come from New, from New Jersey, Pensacola, uh, New Jersey. Tyreek Austin Cave. Okay, Tyreek Austin Cave from New Jersey. If you look at his film, man, he seems to have all the linebacker natural skills that you that you, you can ask in a linebacker. Um, the one thing about Tyreek Austin Cave, a lot of people don't know, is he's not from New Jersey. He's actually born and raised in Alabama, played football in uh, in Alabama. Um, somehow his family moved up to New Jersey. Sort of like the same story of Lance Leggett from South Florida. 
dad moved him to Texas for two years and everybody classified him to Texas. Thing. Tyreek Austin Cave has a brace on his left leg. I'm not sure. Um, it's like it's like from from calf down. I'm not sure what what that is. Um, but another name that we're starting to hear is number 19, Florida's own Deshaun Troutman. Deshaun Troutman out of Edgewater. Um, let's see if we can get Deshaun Troutman. Find Deshaun Troutman up here. Deshaun Troutman out of Edgewater, number 19. Deshaun Troutman came in a little undersized. The heart of a lion. He wants to hit, and that's all he wants to do is hit. We talked about Rohan Marley this week. Deshaun Troutman got some Rohan Marley in him. Uh, Deshaun Troutman, the Troutman um, we we was told by uh, his peers that he looked good in practice. Um, he's been making some noise in practice. Um, and round up the, the linebacker team, we got Tyler Johnson and Chase Smith. Chase Smith isn't here, and I think Tyler Johnson isn't here. Um, Chase Smith, we, a lot of us believe, will push. We'll push for the for, for the star position. Chase Smith, a very talented kid out of Melbourne, and shout out to Chase Smith and Edge. Chase Smith is a, uh, got an idea with us. We work with Chase Smith a lot, so shout out to Chase Smith and Edge. Listen, man, the linebacker group should be improved. I mean, they, they, we got we got better teaching, better coaches out here, um, better leadership. So I'm expecting more out of these guys. Don't expect to see the same guys we saw last year or the same issues we saw last year with the mystery coaching. Got, um, what's going on, Coach? Hey, boss, you all right? What's going on, man? I can't complain. Chilling, chilling. This is Northwestern head coach. You might be Northwestern head coach Max uh, out here watching practice today. Um, Max rode the yellow bus. Max rode the yellow bus. I mean, you see, you see the yellow bus coaches, they out here, man. It's going to be all right, man. It's going to be all right, man. Let Luke do what he do. He's going to make it happen, and he is making it happen on his side. And Miami going to make it happen. They're going to work both ways. Across we got out here again, the great... Ed Reed is out here again. No long sleeve hoodie on today. But as I said, I mean, <laughs> I think he's been out here every day. We've seen practice. Also out here, Najee Davenport. And let me explain this to you. Najee Davenport just told me this is the first time that he's came at the University of Miami practice since he left. Now, he has his reasons, you know what I'm saying? He has his reasons how things went here. I mean, you remember Najee's career, tried to make him a fullback, he got hurt, you know what I'm saying? He has his he has his reasons, but this is the first time he felt welcome to come back to the University of Miami um, and bring his son, who may be one of the top players in the nation when it's all said and done. If that's not huge, I don't know what huge looked like. Airy on the field, actually coaching the kids up Every actually on the field, coaching the kids up, being involved um, uh, this year. Um, I, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's the coaches having a better, uh, a better understanding of each other. I don't know if it's he feel more comfortable with the philosophy. But in the years past, we wouldn't really see him out here stamping his approval on what was going on out here. What you think it is, X? Like, what do you think? Why, we, why do you think we see him out here on the field again? On the he's closer, getting involved with drills now. He allowed, he allowed former players to come back and help, yeah. which is how it used to be back in the days. Former players would come back and help at practice, help at games. Um, Air Reed is still on the staff, so he can come yeah. anytime he wants to. Uh, right, right. But in but the past, we would see him just standing. Yeah, he's just chilling. Yeah, just chilling, um, right, right. We I, guess it, I guess it's um, the comfortable, him being comfortable with the coaching staff. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't really comfortable with the previous coaching staff. Right. Because it's been, it's been told that He's in there watching film and they'll walk in and walk right out. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of weird. If right. He's watching film and then you're not. You know what I'm saying? So I guess he's more comfortable with the coaching staff. Um, you know, he has a good relationship with DVD. And maybe he's trying to build that with uh, with Coach um, Adai. Ad yeah. and, and, and also, like I said, put in that the, 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 the defensive coordinator. Um, defensive coordinator. What defensive coordinator? Kevin Steele. Kevin Steele. Kevin Steele is the guy that's been doing this forever. He's seen everything. You can see it in his interviews. So he's not a guy who's going to feel threatened by Ed Reed by no means. He's he's probably like, come on, bro. Listen, my knee's messed up. You can walk over there. I ain't walking over there. It's, he, he accepted it. He's right. like, you know, the more knowledge we got, the better it comes for the whole team. Not, right. not that I'm the smartest in the room. The no. ego shit. No, ain't no ego ain't shit. No, I'm the smartest guy in the room. It's, we all here for a purpose. Right, know, right, so right. So. Yes, yeah, yeah. So all the egos out the door. I mean, a lot of times, that's, that's all it is, bro. His egos. Um, we see the great Steve Yet was out here, man. Younger brother, Atwell, older brother Doug Evans, who went to Florida State. Um, 
Speaking of Florida State, anybody seen Florida State practice lately? Get a chance, go go click over there, man. Uh, the practice starting to look like the city. Oh, trailer has it. Practice starting to look like uh, I gotta uh, get my um, my autograph book together, man. All these future NFL Hall of Famers walking around. I know you come out here with your balls, man. Make this a buddy, man. Make this a buddy. You ready? Yeah. Brian Davenport, man, he probably has the, the best hair in the nation as a nine-year-old. Also, man, Sonda Najee Davenport over there just wandering around the University of Miami practice. He was standing next to DVD um, a minute ago. Uh, he's only, he's future only, King. Future he's, King. He's a future, no, he's a future King. What class, what class Brian is? 2030. Class of 2030. Yes, goddammit, we're looking to the future. <laughs> Patience. IOD squad. You gotta, you gotta look towards the future. And he's trying to bring some kids with him, man. Um, the energy has changed for him. The platform out here has changed. So it's definitely to be a place where all, all our number one our number one players could land. Um, now that things are being done different. I don't mean to cut y'all, but he got a couple of, it's what? about like five or six. What? You don't hear what Mike would say. I say, come on, hey, you be honest Listen, with you, you got to come on. Yeah. What we just witnessed today in these past 25, 30 seconds, it's the greatest practice ever. The number one wide receiver in the nation, Brandon Ennis. The number one safety ever in the world, Ed Reed. Number one running back in the world, Edgerin James. Our guy, Najee Davenport, but the number one nine-year-old in the nation. You want to talk about the greatest practice? You don't get no greater than this. Caneville, Footballville, IOD, we out. Go take three motherfucking days, and that's what? Big time players.